Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a timeless message for the collective. So let's see what messages Spirit has for today. Oh, when you see this. Okay, oh, okay. wow. Justice flew right out. Okay, so. Alrighty. Justice, bottom of the deck. We have the magician. I'm hearing you coming into your power. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this could be you coming into your power. Wow, right under the magician is the lovers. <laughs> it's like you're deciding, you're making a bold decision to come into who you are, into what you're supposed to be. Like your inner light. Because with the magician, let me put this over here. With the magician, I'm feeling like this is referring to your inner spark. <clears throat> Excuse me. So somebody could want to, you know, try to make you pipe down or something. Some of you could be a public speaker. Or there's something that you want to speak about publicly. And someone is like, no, you shouldn't do that. Maybe you shouldn't. You should stay quiet. Okay, so for some of you, you know, you, you're minding your merry business. And you just made, like I said, you made the decision to come into your own power. Maybe you went through a, a pass of allowing people to decide for you, especially with the lover's card. This is not just about love, it's about making a decision. So maybe, like I said, in the past, you allowed others to decide what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, what you should say, what you shouldn't say, right? So now you, you made that um, solid decision to come into who you are. Then for some of you, I'm feeling like, yeah, my throat is starting to act up again. As soon as I come back to the topic, I'm feeling like there's something you're still kind of shaky about bringing to the public. But I feel like this is going to help. I'm hearing crack your voice. This is going to help you crack your voice. I don't know why, but Spirit is, is like referring me to like, you know, when boys go through puberty and their voice starts to crack, they go from the voice to... <laughs> and then to finally it settles into whatever tone it is so i'm feeling like you're at that stage where your voice is cracking or yeah there's something that will help you like if you talk about it in public it's gonna make you stabilize like you're gonna get into that deeper tone you get what i'm saying so there's something that you want to talk about, right? But someone is like, or oh, this could be multiple people. And they're like, no, 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 don't talk about that. Maybe they're telling you, just let it go. Collective, don't talk about that. Collective, just let it go. Uh, collective, you shouldn't bring that up. You shouldn't bring that up publicly, especially. Like you need to just vent behind closed doors. You need to just commiserate is what I'm getting. But now I feel like spirit is saying it would bring you justice if you speak up for yourself. If you um you know show your inner light. So I feel like you need not to listen to someone who is telling you to pipe down. Cuz they're part of a part of the problem. I don't care if they're coming off as a friend, family member, you know, they're just saying it for your safety, for your protection. No, I feel like this person or that group wants you to be in fear just like them. But Spirit is saying it will give you justice. It will bring you justice if you speak up about this. If you decide not to listen to whoever it is that's talking, then yeah, yeah. So again, like with that stages of puberty kind of... Especially for a male. Like when they go from the, the puny voice to the crackling voice to the, the, the stabilized tone, their adult tone. So there's something like, 
I mean, even women kind of go through it too. Like our voice changes as we, as we get older. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling like it's it's more significant when it happens to men. So this could also be spirit referring to you standing in your power, you being in your masculine energy, whether you're a woman or not. Okay. If you're already a masculine energy, well, you're stepping higher into that. You're really solidifying who you are and that nobody can mess with you. If you're a woman, I mean, or if you're a feminine energy, you're stepping into your, your masculine energy where you're speaking up for yourself, setting boundaries. And again, you're at this crackly stage, so your boundaries might be a little, eh, but eventually you're going to realize, oh, okay, no, I ain't falling for this shit. <laughs> okay, so let's clarify, um, clarify justice. So just like I said, we have the moon, the nine of pentacles in the world. What is there more, child? The moon, the nine of pentacles in reverse, the, the world in reverse, and then the three of swords clarifying the justice so again someone wants you to stay in the dark or stay fearful about speaking up about something when it's not gonna happen right but again we do have free will so spirit is saying with this nine of pentacles in the world in reverse it's up to you if you want a cycle to change but I feel like spirit is going to present you at least three times with a, a, a way for you to speak up about something and do it tactfully and tastefully. Okay, with this three of swords upright, I feel like spirit is going to kind of put you in position to do it. But it's up for you, up to you, excuse me, up to you to... You know decide to, to snatch that opportunity but again like i said someone or this could be your your own internal fears you know your own internal fears is holding you back from doing what you need to do or speaking up about what you need to talk about but if this is a person outside of you they gotta skedaddle okay so let's clarify the magician We have the five of swords, three of wands, and the eight of cups in reverse. Clarifying the magician. Again, so five to me, especially the swords, five to me always speaks about communication, a form of communication. Now with the swords, this is air energy. So this can also represent the mental. So this is definitely something you need to do in order to provide you with mental clarity so you need to find some way to communicate you know what's been bothering you it doesn't always have to be verbal you know you can oh i'm moving the cards and look at that the world again <laughs> i'm moving the card over and here we go the world so with that being said i'm gonna put it back though but that was just confirmation with that being said, um, what the hell was I saying? <laughs> I was saying five represent communication and the swords uh, represent, oh yeah, this could bring you mental clarity if you go through with it. Then you have the three of wands, which is passion. So we go from three of swords where spirit is presenting you is justice, clarifying the justice. Three of swords, the spirit will present you with multiple opportunities. Well, I'm going to say three for now. Three strikes <laughs> until you get it. To present you with an opportunity where you can speak up about something. Oh, that's what I was saying. It doesn't have to be um, verbal communication. You can also write something. You can also, <laughs> I don't know, sing a song, play a song. There's other ways you could get the message across if you're not like 
a vocal, verbal person. Okay? So with this Three of Wands, like I said, we go from the Three of Swords to the Three of Wands where Spirit is presenting you. But if you take this, this is... I'm feeling like this is something, I don't know, you got to speak up about something you're passionate about, but someone, well, maybe most people don't really give a shit, or they claim not to give a shit. I'm going to have to clarify this three of wands and the eighth, uh, hold on. But anyway, the three of swords is thinking, swords is like thinking, wands is doing. Then we have the eight of cups in reverse where I feel like you need, again, you need not to worry about outside opinions, but let's clarify the three of wands. Eight of pentacles in reverse. And as I was clarifying the three of wands, I was looking at the magician, and he kind of has the wand in his hand, right? I don't know why, but okay. So the pentacles are red, right? <laughs> Usually I don't pay attention to the color like that. But then I looked at the magician and I looked at his garment and I heard wear me down. Now I'm hearing wipe me down. I'm on wipe me down. I'm on wipe me down. <laughs> but no, now I'm hearing wear me down and all. Right? So something was wearing you down. You were wearing other people's um, fears other people's worries like clothing and again remember i said the three of wands is kind of like oh most people don't give a shit about it but no i changed my mind right it's not that most people don't care i feel like you are convinced that what you are doing most people don't care about or it wouldn't be beneficial on a grand scale Because we have the Eight of Swords, I'm mean, not Eight of Swords, y'all. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is something not growing, something not being stable. You being in a cycle of instability. Because like the Eight is like an infinity symbol. So you being in a constant cycle of your money slipping away from you. I feel like someone just convinced you to take on their worries like a jacket. Okay, yeah. You ever heard a phrase when someone gives you a jacket that doesn't fit? That's what I'm, I'm feeling like. You're wearing a jacket that's not yours. <laughs> Ooh, I don't wanna be messy. I don't wanna be messy, but I don't know if they do this in other, or they refer to this in other cultures, but I know in Jamaican culture, <laughs> when someone is given a jacket that doesn't fit, that usually 99% of the time that is referring to a child not being someone. Remember I was talking about that masculine energy, stepping into that masculine energy? Ooh. Ooh. Haters on your body, you gotta shake them off. <laughs> Remember in the beginning I was talking about, you know, like phases of manhood and shit? Well, puberty, because when do these people really happen? Whatever. Phases of puberty, right? But specifically for a man, like I said, in Jamaican culture, when someone is given a jacket or someone say, oh, that jacket don't fit, they're usually referring to that child not being of the father, quote unquote father, right? 
You get what I'm saying? And now uh, we did, we been had the lover's car peeking out. And I didn't want to take it literal at first, but some of you, and, I, and this is kind of fucked up too. It's fucked up. You know why? And then we got, okay, let me explain this other scenario that's coming up. Because it's real fucked up. I'm picking up on someone who, like a child, really matured this man, this masculine energy. A child really, oh, motherfucking bitch. I feel you. I feel you. You'll be mad as fuck. High priestess in reverse. This bitch ain't tell you. Woo! So, again, let me stop. Okay, because what I'm getting is there was a child that really matured this masculine energy. Or it could be children. They can have a resonate. There was a child that really matured this masculine energy, really set him on the right path. Or them, whatever, set them on the right path. Just to find out it's not theirs. They're wearing a jacket. Cause think of this, right? Remember I said this garment is red? That's blood. So like that's not your blood look i'm not trying to influence nobody to go and do nothing and tear up the families and all types of things but i'm talking to those maybe just one person hopefully it's just one person because i hope it's not multiple people going through this shit if you've been feeling that and i'm touching my gut right now if you've been feeling that deep down in your gut that something wasn't right with this woman. Yeah. Because what made me lose my shit just now was this high priestess in reverse. This is a secret of secret, 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 top secret, dog secrets. Okay? And then we have the justice and the magician and the lovers. It was an injustice that someone tried to basically put, put the blindfold over your eyes in the name of love to keep this secret. I hope you're following that story. Like, because the cards are just saying it right now. And you know, low key, high key, you know, I've been picking up this lover card up and down, and under the lover's card, there's a five of, five of pentacles, right? But I, it hasn't been, you see the world. You see how the world picking out? I, I didn't even mean to do it like that. But I'm going to take it out now. Low key, this five of pentacles been peaking and peaking and peaking and peaking. I'm like, no, it's not fitting right now. But again, look how the story's playing out. It's an injustice that someone is being played with, with this magician, in the name of love or in the name of what they can offer someone. And with that being said, when this secret, this secret come out, five of pentacles, someone's gonna be walking away. Dipping out on that situation. And someone's world, since I wanted to pop out again, someone's world is gonna be crashing down because they try to put a jacket on someone. That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. There was a few scenarios. Again, this is a general reading for the collective. You know, take a story, how it resonates. If it ain't yours, don't force it to fit. Don't be ruining no families and shit. <laughs> okay? Don't force this story to fit, all right? But I I think I'm gonna leave this here. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed this reading. If you wanna book a personal, all that ish is down below. Bye.